It's the 4th of March, 1972. 27 people board the Hover Travel Hovercraft number SRN6012 headed from Ride on the Isle of Wight to South Sea, Portsmouth, across the Solent, when in gale force winds, disaster strikes as the craft digs into a wave, crashes and overturns, just short of its destination, killing five people. Memories of that day live on in survivors. One such survivor was Andy Benford. In 1972, he was 21-year-old Royal Navy submariner. He crossed from Portsmouth with his brother Tim for a day trip. The weather turned for the worse, spoiling their adventure. So the two men decided to take an earlier flight than planned. The journey would only normally take around 10 minutes, but as the weather deteriorated, the crossing slowed, battling against 50 knot winds. Just before the harbour entrance, the brothers noticed the large waves ahead. The craft capsized as it hit. As the passenger compartment filled with water, so the regular passengers knew to push out the windows. The craft was thrown around in the waves and the passengers struggled to escape. On shore, John Andrews of the Coast Guard at South Sea witnessed the disaster and raised the alarm. He stated that the next thing she had flipped right up and then rolled right over. Rescue helicopters from Portsmouth Naval Base, along with a fleet of Navy and civilian boats, and military divers reached the scene. The survivors struggled to hold on to the upturned hull as they waited for help to arrive. The women passengers were immediately rescued by RAF helicopters. The men had to wait for the Coast Guard cutter. The response was over quickly and without panic. The survivors didn't realise there had been fatalities until reading the newspapers the next day. The five passengers who sadly lost their lives were Julie O'Connell, aged seven years, Charles Street, aged 45 of Portsmouth, Anne Robinson, aged 58 of Rogate, Sussex, Audrey Jones, aged 47 of Redhill, Surrey, and her husband, David Jones, whose body was sadly never recovered. Graham Allen, one of the first responders from the ambulance service, recalled the pouring rain on arrival to the disaster scene. At first, he had trouble spotting the hovercraft, but looking out to sea, he noticed a group of people on top of an upturned craft. There was nothing to be done until the rescues had been completed. He treated the pilot who had suffered a gash to his forehead and was in shock. A human chain was forged to bring the craft ashore. This was an extremely sad disaster which affected many lives and is still remembered over 50 years on.